Barbara rang me at work today and said she was out in the garden with Roxy, and which is our dog. Um, she heard a clatter behind the backy shower and water started running down the embankment. So I told her immediately to turn the pump off. I've come home from work and this is what I've discovered. The screws that are mounting the these brackets on this tempest, I don't know if you can see that they've snapped. Um, first thing I need to do is. Uh, drain the filter and I might as well do both at the same time uh, so that I can get it uh, light enough to handle I'll take the brackets off screw them back to the post uh, and then clip them on again, but clip the tempest back onto the post. But I'm going to have to use bigger screws, and uh, I might use some sort of cable ties to secure them even more. These brackets are held on by one single screw. I'm using a bit more of a heavy duty screw this time, uh, but I've got to say that when I first did put these up, the brackets did seem a bit flimsy. As I said, I'm going to have to try and find a way to uh, strengthen them even more. It's now pouring with rain, but I have managed to to get it back up. I've re-screwed the brackets and basically these clip on and tighten the bracket onto the pipe. Right, that's now clipped back on, but just to show you my concerns when I first fit these tempers, even though they're supposed to be secure, they don't look very secure to me, and I'm wondering if uh, we've had a few gale force winds or something over the past six months, and uh, with the play moving about like that, it's it's it's... S snap the screws now I've put a cable tie around this one and it does seem to have made it a bit more sturdy so I'll, I'm going to put a cable tie around the top and bottom of each uh, tempest and then we'll main thing is get the pump back on and the uh, the filters going again when I got up this morning to do this job, this large yellow and white fish is floating on the surface. It's not dead. Gills are still moving. Uh, if that was due to the filters not running, I would have thought it would have affected all the fish. But I'm putting the horse pipe in the pond, draining water, out of the overflow so it's it's doing a water replacement the filters are all cleaned hopefully everything's going to be back up and running and we'll keep with fingers crossed and see what happens to the fish <clears throat> that's everything back up and running thankfully there's no leaks from any pipes that have been twisted or anything so 
fingers crossed it's a bit slippy this embankment so I'm gonna come a crop if I'm not careful the fish is still hanging on let's hope for the best I don't want to get my hopes up but the fish seems to be getting more active almost trying to swim I can't believe that the fish seems to have started swimming trying to get upright again So everything's been running uh, back to normal for a couple of days now. Unfortunately, the uh, yellow and white fish passed on. I'm absolutely gutted because when we first built the pond nine years ago, uh, we bought two shabunkins to start the cycle off, and then we bought this purple and white one and the yellow and white one and a sturgeon that you can see on the bottom here uh, so the yellow and white one was one of the first fish that was put into the pond nine years ago uh, the fish survived new pond syndrome and, and everything I don't really know what went wrong and why why she became, why the fish became ill uh, come to been parasites because eight days ago I trekked the pond with formulin and malachite green that was the first dose uh, and I'm gonna give it another dose today absolutely gutted I'm gonna empty half the treatment in that's in this watering can now and then we'll give it half an hour and then put the rest in treatments now in the water I always uh, do the formula in a malachite green every spring and every autumn religiously um, in preparation for winter and obviously to kill any bugs that may have accumulated over the winter uh, I give it a spring dose the UV's turned off and uh, it should start clearing in uh, the next couple of days until then we've got blue coloured water Really can't understand uh, why I lost the uh, the koi. I've only had two deaths in the last five years. One was a goldfish, a large goldfish, um, at the end of last winter. And prior to that, it's five years since I lost the fish. So really disappointed. So if you're enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate your support. Uh, any comments or advice, also much appreciated. Um, so it's Nick Pomfret from Pomfret's Pond signing out. Absolutely gutted about the loss of the fish. But thanks for watching, Pomfret's Pond.